Hello everyone, today we are going to share with you the top five Java modules for Wowza Streaming Engine. My name is Rose Power and I am joined today by Frank Durant. He is our senior software engineer. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Rose. You ready to get started? Yeah. Let's do it. Number five on the list is the Refer Validate module. And this module will be used to control access to your streams based on the Refer domain. It's designed for players that are not RTMP based. So Frank, if you could quickly explain what is a referrer domain and how does this module work, that would be great. Okay, a referrer domain is basically the address that you are accessing the Wowza resources through. So this allows us to determine the location of the originator of the request that's trying to get the resources from Wowza and then validate it. Okay, great. So it's really a means of controlling uh, who has access to this video stream and making sure only those who have permission to get that access are allowed playback. Is correct. That correct. Okay, perfect. Number four, we have live stream record auto record module. And this is an alternative to going into the engine manager and manually configuring which streams you want to auto record. I would imagine this would save people a lot of time if they wanted to automatically record a lot of streams, is that correct? Absolutely, and they can also use a predefined filter to choose which streams they want to record, okay. making it a lot simpler and easier to manage the recording. I see, so it's not an automatically auto-record for all streams. You can go in and, and determine which ones you want to automatically start. Correct. Recording. Okay, fantastic. And number three, we have the loop until live module. This allows you to loop another video in as a filler video until the live broadcast is ready to begin. Frank, would this be useful for, say, there is a delay in, in the start time for a broadcast? You could maybe insert some, some pre-roll or an ad, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be a good time. Before or after, or waiting for the, the stream to start is a good time to use this module. And the, the, the loop-in uh, video can play for as long as you want. It really will keep playing until the live stream is detected, is ready to go, and it'll automatically switch over? Yeah, it'll be a seamless switchover, so clients can play it and then not miss the beginning of the program or stream. Thank you. Number two, we have the S3 upload module. This module automatically uploads finished recordings to an Amazon S3 bucket. And it uses the Amazon Web Services SDK for Java to upload those recorded files. Frank, is this for those who need uh, to store video files somewhere else other than just on their local server? Is it a storage solution? Yeah, it is. And it makes server maintenance easy. We also have all of your resources that you've recorded in a centralized location, which can all be later used by our media cache functionality. I see. And what is the media cache? Media cache is a feature that can be used with VOD to access resources that are stored off the service, like AWS's S3. I see. So instead of pulling some VOD files from your local server, you could pull them through Media Cache and download your or pull your videos from the AWS bucket. That's correct. Here we are at number one already on the list. It is the Stream Publisher module. This lets you use a server listener and application module to create a stream and playlist schedule. We have an awful lot of interest on this module in the forums. This is a popular one, and I believe it's similar to TV style streaming, correct? Yeah, I think that analogy works well. Mapping streams to programs and playlists or streams to channels and mm -hmm. playlists to programs, the analogy works well. I see, so you could have several channels as you can on TV and within each channel, you can have multiple video assets for users to select. Correct. All right, very good. There you have it. Those are the top five Java modules for Wowza Streaming Engine. If you'd like more information on any of the modules we discussed today, we will link below the video to the documentation on the Wowza website. Feel free to reach out to me in the forums if you have any questions or if you'd like to learn more. Frank, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us those great explanations. Thanks for having me, Rose. That's it for today. We'll see you next time.